Good evening, Saturday night. So that means once again it's next in action with Cleo Cup with our Max Coats official Cleo Cup League. So round four comes from Watkins Glen International, the short version of the track. 25 laps, as you can see, Weber just looks like medium cloud. So who will come out on top tonight? Edu, RCF Polo, and GR Martin, the, the top three at the moment, but there's a few that you can't cancel out. There's RS Jim, who's, you know, he's had good performances, but for just been a few, a little bit unlucky in some of the races that have knocked him off the top spot. But it's definitely not over. NGR Martin, definitely one to watch. I think this short track might suit RS Jim tonight. Might see him take his first win. So as the race just loads up. And that is the great thing about games like Project Cars. You can see little Clo Cups on tracks that you wouldn't normally see him race on. So the game's just loading up now. So do get involved if you are watching on the chat let us know who you think is is going to win tonight's race but obviously good luck to all the racers involved so blue goby again another name uh, that's definitely definitely want to watch he's shown some nice skill to get his way into the top spot in a couple of races i think blue game has just left the session now that is going to unfortunately upset things if he does rejoin that's probably gonna make the director mode which we're obviously streaming from i think he's going to be out of sync on that now so we'll see if my point is is fact when he comes back in yeah Scott McFall there on the chat good luck to everyone so there's Scott McFall and his silver Cleo Cup so everyone on the outlap at the moment just getting the heat in the tyres getting the little Cleo up to battle ready status you know, the good thing is about these short tracks it doesn't take long to get the the art lap completed that's back on oh scott going off onto the grass a little bit there do need to be careful on project cars too obviously if you if you get a, a cut track just before the end you know in, in sex, sector three it normally discounts the the next lap as well so you do have to be a bit wary doing that there scott is he able to he holds it around the corner awesome little hold, hold that to keep the car going where he wants he's doing it again oh unfortunately not as lucky that time I think that's NGR Martin who's just behind him there oh no it's Shadow Stalker nicely Shadow Stalker racing again due to uh... oh two wheels there from Shadow Stalker making a nice entrance back into the clear cup but it is nice to see him racing back he's had a little bit of bad news recently which is uh taking him away from sim racing so nice to see him back on track he's a familiar name in the next gen leagues now he's been with us since day one so nice to see him racing again tonight hopefully he'll have a, a good performance and a good result shadow stock always seems to be one of those that a bad luck seems to follow him so hopefully tonight that luck will change so Blue Gobi now joined back in oh he's uh, got his usual livery on now I think that's maybe why he's left probably best just to have stuck with the, the different livery RCF Polo I was about to say has taken the first set but no Amiga has now taken top spot Again, another one that is definitely one to watch, but sometimes the luck 
just doesn't come in his way during the race as soon as the lights goes out seems to get caught up in all the action NGL Martin in top three that's NGL Martin, uh, NGL Taylor just in front of me there in the Monster Livery Nicholas Hamilton's Cleo Cup there so again definitely want to watch but RCF I've said it a few times now new to the next gen family but made a good name for himself already he's made his way into the the project cars next gen team v team that we've got coming up in the new year as well against project 4 racing so it'll be good to see him racing for next gen in that special esports event so stay tuned for more information on that that will be streamed as well to the channel and as I said, that's coming in the new year. Dates to be confirmed, I think around the 15th of January. It's a Monday. So it'll be a nice weeknight event that we've got happening for you. Oh, just catching Amiga there at the end of his two-wheel stint. Got some of the curbs on this track you do need to be careful about especially going up this hill section that little left turn there it's got curb doesn't look that high but it is very very high it's letting blue goby pass there we'll stick with blue goby i think this is on his time lap now oh catches it is he able to get it under control he does throws it through the bus stop up there I think that's going to unfortunately sacrifice oh keeps it within the the track limits there as well he's pushing it to the edge really really pushing this little Cleo as as hard as he can I think we're going to see a good time from blue here they're going to be real name Eddie you know some of these guys that do chat to uh do know him by first name so oh is that gonna discount his lap there I'm not too sure we'll see as he crosses the line you see now he did join the lobby late so it could be that it's not showing us his lap time now we'll see I think RS Jim was a another late comer to the lobby oh no I think he was in from the start I'm not sure we'll we'll see the guys that I definitely know Blue Gobi so we'll we'll see if that bug is relevant for people that that do join late but we still got Amiga leading the way but not a great deal between him and second at the moment Edu now in third he pushes NGR Martin down to fourth so there's Edu now approaching the traffic this could make things hard for him especially if you're a lot faster there oh dear oh that's a huge impact there missed his breaking point completely went on the grass and then he was just the passenger for some reason the guy in the back is waving the green flags i definitely don't think that was a green flag is it i think probably the yellow flag should have been out there by the uh the marshals on the track i mean damage is off so uh, it would affect the car. Oh, someone almost getting out of shape in the background there as well. Uh, RCF has really brought down that time now. And then Cam is now into third place as well. So now the top three within a second. I think we'll. I think last week it went the top six within a second. So, you know, there's over 12 minutes left to go in this. I thought the times would be a lot shorter, actually. So the track's obviously for these guys a little bit longer than what I thought it was going to be I thought we were looking around the, the minute time but that's obviously you know the likes of GT3 and stuff like that but still plenty of time to put in laps tonight I'll see if we'll see if he can looking like he could claim the top spot at the moment with his times seems to be approving on every lap So you throw it into the corner, opposite lock there. 
to really throw the car around that last corner. And now he takes the top spot, as predicted. He's almost into the 119s as well. Needs to be careful of using them curbs. Yeah, he's slowing now, so that's going to discount his lap. He knows it. I think he's gone to the pits. I maybe would have just carried on. Saves you having to do that extra lap to get the times in again. So Amigo will now be pushing even harder. But top three, still just the top three within a second. Oh, we've got Scooby now. He's, he's getting that at the best of starts to the season. You know, again, he's he's made it into the uh, to the NGR TV team in, in the project against the Project Four racing lads. But he's not, you know, he's he's a competent driver. He's just been unlucky in some of his races. Two wheels there. That's going to discount his lap, unfortunately. Back into the pits he goes. Edu in fifth and JR Martin in sixth. Those two have had some good battles together. And JR Martin last week, I think he was in, I want to say, fifth place on the top guys. Battled it out and he made his way to second. Just from the guys pushing a little bit too hard, going off, and he just played the cool game. So I wonder if we'll see more of that from him tonight. Greener Army, mean, nice to see him in eighth there. Now, NGR team, I'm pretty sure last week. I'm sure he's on a qualifying ban this week. I'm sure he was put on a qualifying ban. He caused an incident in turn one on lap one. So I need to keep an eye on that. Few incidents reported last week. Oh, there's Scott McFall. Just say hello to the tyre wall there. Get the car around, let the traffic pass. Oh, he's back in the pits now. So, yeah, we've got Blue Gobi and Lee W saying they've not put times in. I think that's wrong. The way Blue Gobi's been running, I would say he's put in a decent time. But because he's left the lobby and joined since it started, the director mode, it just seems to throw it out. I don't think it's able to to track them properly. Hopefully the developers over at Slightly Mad Studios are aware of it and are, are working on the patch, but I suppose the easy resolve for it. Oh, almost getting at the back end out there. Well, that will definitely discount his lap time there. Back in the pits, hopefully. Someone who is racing will be able to tell me if Blue Gobi has put in a time yet. I personally think he has. So apparently Tim has been meant, been just been messaged about starting from the back, but might be a little bit difficult for him to do now he's put in a qualifying time he's got quite a few names behind him oh opposite lot there that is going over oh no he keeps it lands it on four wheels but that is a a squeaky bum moment there 
and the crowd are that shocked they're all just frozen you can see there it's snap oversteer counter lock to try and avoid any incident unfortunately it was just unlucky but we've got a message there uh, blue goby is now is is actually eighth so that means NGL Taylor is actually ninth there's Edu just going past him on the outside there so NGL Taylor going into the pits but RS Jim is in second so he's pushed his way into the the top three not too far behind RCF now but RCF is extending his lead over the guys behind him and now we've got the top seven that are in within a second I mean Blue Gobi is eight so we might have the top eight that were within a second and I don't know if anyone is watching if they can just comment what time Blue Gobi is put in at the moment but as it stands on the board at the moment we've got the top seven within a second of each other oh a lot of people struggling with the cars tonight maybe just pushing a little bit too hard RCF looking nice and calm on the track so Blue Gobi has got a 124 792 oh. no no 121 ah, so he is just outside of the, the second on him so Blue Gobi there yes he has got a 121.298, but he can go faster. Followed by a winky face. Oh, Lee W07 is in temp. So these two obviously joined or left and have rejoined. So they're not being tracked properly by the director mode. So he's in temp as well. It's just a real shame that doing that doesn't get tracked properly makes this a little bit more complicated once the race starts to try and follow it so we'll just see what Carly W is in okay so those two in in the same car as well I don't think anyone else is running that livery so that is that can help things then so I'm just skipping through as fast as I can yeah Blue Gobi explains yeah he was in the wrong library so that's why he left so Blue and Lee teammates as well Blue Gobi with the the blue trim and Lee W with the yellow trim so that's how we distinguish them apart RS Jim his teammate unfortunately unable to race this week again and GR Curly Oh, Edu has now taken the top spot there. So he'll be very pleased with that. We've seen that he's been pushing hard tonight. Amiga now trailing behind him. Just under three minutes left to go now of this qualifying session. Edu lets him past. No, Amiga out on his is on an outlap at the moment, so this won't count. It's just getting some air, uh, uh, some heat in the tyres, not air. Hopefully, they would have put air in the tyres before he's left. Oh, I thought he was going to lose it there. Is he it? No, he managed to get it under control. just the top seven at the moment within the second of each other but 
who's going to take the overall win tonight. If I was a betting man, I wouldn't really know who to put the money on. I can tell you that much. So I'm just sorting out streams at your HQ at the moment. Just bear with me to go quiet. So just over a minute left to go of the qualifying time. And then obviously anyone on their final lap. So might be able to get, someone might be able to get just another lap done if they're. You'll see everyone pushing that a little bit more harder now as the timer counts down just to get across the line before it finishes. So we've got another lap to go. Morris Jim. So this will be his final lap. So we'll stick with Jim now, we'll see if he can Im improve, see if he can get to the top spot. He's not a million, he's de you know, he can definitely do it, he's not a million miles away. It's less than half a second between him and the, and the top spot, so it's definitely achievable for Jim. It's just getting all the, the sectors put together. Easier said than done sometimes. So that's the qualifying session officially over. Stick with Jim just to, to the end and see if he can see if he can do it. As I frantically search around for some juice for my e-cigarette. So is that Jim gone back in? Oh, he's back in the pits. So it is easy. We're approaching. Looks like he's slowing down there as well. Maybe it was a discounted lap. Eager at saying lap time invalidated for track limits. If it's correct, we shall find out. But he stays where he is. Yeah, it's Edu just cruising there. Don't know whether his lap time is maybe invalidated there, and that's why he's giving up on it. So, Blue Gobi actually on a 120. So, yeah, not tracked at all. Is an annoying bug. Which hopefully in the coming patch, which shouldn't be too much longer now, will get resolved. Yeah, Blue Gobi 8th, BW 10th there. And the lights go out and the race is on. Looked like a pretty even start from Edu and RCF, but Edu and RCF, Edu, nice start by Edu there. He pulled away nicely. RS Jim still in third. Cam on the side of Amiga there. NGR Martin just behind him. There's Blue Gobi just behind him there as well I've got NGR Taylor and that's NGR Scooby but an outside by side look at this long trail of cars and there is Blue Gobi just behind NGR Martin there as well so it says he's 15th but he's not at the moment so Edu leading the way of this train of little Cleo Cup cars Everyone just follow it, taking the same line at the moment. No one really able to make any moves. 
almost follow the leader action going on at the moment. But I think sometimes that's the best thing to do. Play it cool, just stay with the guy in front. Amiga is making headway on Cam here. Cam's going to see that Cleo getting larger and larger in his mirrors. I think Amiga might try to go for a move here. No, plays it safe again. NGR Martin playing it safe as well. But no one really able to really get up to the guy in front. Really, Amiga is the only one that's looking like he's making any any gain on the guy in front of him. There they are, almost side by side coming up, but which is the best line to have going into the bus stop? Cam still edging out just in front. None of these guys make a mistake. NGR Martin now right on the tail of Amiga there as well. So Amiga, little mistake through the bus stop there. It's cost them a little bit. Not too much. So we'll see if there's anything happening towards the back of the table. These guys spreading out. Scott McFall there. Mad Marshall just behind him. But oh, that's Edu almost getting done by RCF there, but still able to hold out in front. I think he's going to hold this line going into the corner. Has to break slightly bit harder. RCF, but he's got RS Jim coming up to him now as well. None of these guys making up a. You know, a costly mistake at the moment, really. Maybe not, you know, taking a little bit easier going to the corner on the guy behind him, but not enough to sacrifice the spot. This is absolute class racing from everyone involved at the moment. Is RCF, again, this is like Amiga and Cam before. RS Jim thinks about it, moves across, but no way to slot through. Everyone driving the same line. And just no one is making a costly mistake. But these guys at the front, if they make any mistake, they're going to lose so many places. And we've got Scooby there in the distance as well. You know, this may not be bumper, you know, bumper to bumper with... Side by side racing. Is that someone? No, I thought that was someone. Sound like someone going off there. But my God, this is good racing to watch because it's literally. Oh, we got a little bit of lag there from NGR Martin. Uh, NGR Martin, I think, is lagging just a little bit. Hopefully, that's just for us and it's not affecting Blue Gobi just behind him there. These guys just absolutely holding on, but RCF and Edu now side by side. Is RCF going to be able to make a move stick here? Cam also looking for a way through. Has to slot back in again. It's just waiting for one person to make that one mistake. And who is going to be the first to do it? Oh no, we have had a retirement. It's uh, Greener Army. Unfortunately, his control of it is broke. He's had to retire. We'll call that a mechanical fault. Oh, Amiga trying to get through on Cam there, but Cam defending. Edu now defending as well. RCF snaking left and right. Again, it goes back to the start. A look at Jim is ready to pounce if he's. If he can. I think Jim's going to have the inside line going in the corner here. I think we've got our first pass. RS Jim on RCF. And Cam is going to feed through on this as well, is he? Now he's got, now he's got Amiga on the side of him. On board with Cam. We'll stay on board with these guys as well. Just show you just how close it is. See 
everyone just not pushing too hard just taking their time waiting for something to happen RS Jim here looking to make moves he do not make it easy for him to pass making that little clear as wide as he can we've got support coming for Cam at the moment sitting still in fourth he's doing well to defend Joe Martin very late on the break there. He's applying the pressure to Amiga in front, letting him know he's there, but no one breaking at the moment. RS Jim has made it into first now. This is the kind of racing Jim likes close, competitive racing. And Cam is trying to find his way through into the mix here as well. As he's done it, he has got into third place now, Cam. Exceptional move on RCF there as well. Oh, I think RCF has been done there on that part of the track twice now. Will he learn from his mistakes? But again, you defend against one person and you can see there that Cleo's coming up behind it. You can just attack from when you leave that space open. RCF right back on the tail of Cam here. Gets a little bit of dirt. Is he out of shape there? Amiga has to turn sharply to avoid. Scrapes the wall. Amiga lucky not to lose any spots out of that as well. But NGR Martin has got the run on him going down the hill. Not enough to make the move stick through the corner though. Backs off. Uh, he's got Blue Gobi now on him. I think Blue is going to be able to make a move here, is he? Is he able to make it stick? No, Martin got the pace just to get back in front of him. Blue Gobi. Oh. Keeps the car going in a straight line, but does lose some time for that. Back with the top two here. Oris German Edu. Camp. RCF and Amiga. This is just one massive conga line. One massive follow the leader at the moment. It's almost like musical chairs. Find a space. Take it. But at the moment, there ain't no spaces to take. RCF's going to do Cam here. Sneaks up the inside. Side by side, going down the home straight. But RCF, I think, has got the momentum to carry him through. No, Cam is side by side here. As close as you can be. RCF, lovely move to take the place there from Cam. Amiga right on the tail of him now here as well. RCF pulled away from Cam there quite quick as well. I think that shut Cam up a little bit there as well because Amiga has managed to get in on this action as well. Lights blaring from Amiga. Into the bus stop they go again. Nice defensive line by Cam. Making it difficult for these guys to get past. They'll be gutted that he allowed RCF down the inside of him on that corner. This is exceptional driving by these guys. No one's really made that much mistake. A little bit of a wall scraping into, into the home straight on this corner by a few of them. But RCF trying to get past Edu there as well. Does the move stick? Unfortunately, he's now got side by side. Don't think he's going to get past though. Cam now tries to make a move through the inside. RCF covers the line. Almost an exact copy 
of what happened to Cam Cam tried to pull it on RCF but RCF well aware of what was happening there was able to defend before Cam got through but it must be frustrating for the guys there like like the likes of Cam and Amiga just thinking oh what do we do to get past oh no ED making a terrible mistake there loses a few places he might have a slow down penalty as well from that within the game Let's see what happens but completely missed his breaking point and RCF is able to take full advantage of it and that's Blue Gobi making a move on NGR Martin there is he going to be able to make this stick he is slightly in front now NGR Martin slightly in front you can't get much closer than that without contact good driving by those guys to keep it clean that close and this is what clear racing brings us this nice close racing NGR Scooby is not that far behind him see him just coming into shot in the distance there see if anything's going on at the lower parts of the tables well, we know that blue goby isn't really that far down or oh, jim has got the likes of rcf now to deal against defend but this is the type of racing that RS Jim thrives on and he's definitely not one that will break break under pressure easily you know anyone watching this would love to be a passenger in one of these cars at the moment these guys' hearts will be racing 10 to the dozen. Oh, that's Jim. Is he able to hold it? Stops the car from spinning. Edu sneaks past him now as well. He'll be kicking himself there. Cam, is he going to be able to get through here? Cam has snuck past there as well. Amiga now going for the attack. Jim moves over. Gives him just enough room. Is he going to lose out to Amiga here as well? That might have been commentator curse there, me saying he doesn't break under pressure. And then Q, the back end of the Clio, making its statement of just how easy these cars are to get out of shape. But also how easy it is to stop it from completely getting out of shape as well. Oh dear, that's contact from Jim there. I think he went on the grass. Moved over. Oh, I don't know that. Like in my eyes. Yeah, he slows down. Let's Amiga pass there. Good fair driving rules followed by RS Jim there as well. Not obviously we didn't it's difficult to see from this angle. I think he went out. Maybe he sneezed or something, but I don't know. It looked like he touched the grass. It just threw him. But yeah, in fairness, Amiga. He slows, lets him pass. You know, mistakes can happen, but it's how you handle yourself in those mistakes. A well driven by RS Jim there. Oh, he's wall grinding there. Oh, this has gone from bad to worse for Jim, unfortunately. Not sure what's happened. That looked like to me that it was the good old Thrustmaster error where, unfortunately, sometimes it brings up the pause menu. It looked like his wheel just stopped working there. Again, said that the bad luck had followed Jim throughout this season and tonight's race looks like it's followed him again. So now the, the top boys are separating just a little bit but still not a lot in it. But the usual suspects are out on top. RCF, Edu, Cam, there's Amiga. Followed by NGR Martin and Blue Gobi. 
That is one hell of a six-way battle. And we've got Scooby. He's not a million miles away from RS Gym now. So he'll be pushing hard to bring the fight to him. And Joe Martin, not the easiest guy to get past. And Blue Gobi, not the easiest guy to defend against. And Joe Martin doing it well, though. But Blue Gobi really pushing this Cleo as hard as he can. Is he going to pull a move here? He goes left. And Joe Martin doesn't fall for it. Stays where he is. Throws that Cleo round the bus stop. The battle rages on. As it does with Edu and Cam. RCF just pulling away very slightly. But still cannot relax at the moment. So the cars there going left and they're going right. He do on two wheels there. He's going to lose this place to Cam. Is he? They are side by side at the moment. Cam out in front. He do now out in front. Cam's going to hold this line. Has Cam got the drive to get past him again? No, goes back in behind him. And he do knew that that very, that line he was on there is not definitely not the line you want to take going into the bus stop. Oh, he do. Oh, thought he'd lost it there. Keeps keeps the car going. Exceptional driving by he do there to avoid the car kicking out. Corrected it straight away. And yeah, that line going into the bus stop. That is definitely not the, the line that you want to take. So we'll just stay on board with Edu just for a little bit. As we watch him apply the pressure to Cam. See the car riding up on the suspension as it goes over the bumps of this short Watkins Glen circuit. It's got a nice drive on cam here. I think he's going to break and slot back in. See there, just with the line that he took, had to brake slightly harder to get the drive through the bus stop. He's got a great drive on cam here, though. Now, if that was the the GP layout of the circuit, that would have definitely allowed him to get past. Just a light tap on the brakes here, let it glide through, and he gets through on cam here. Nice drive by Edu there to pull that move and make it stick. As they now start lap 16 of 25. And we can see here Blue Gobi making a move on Edgy on Martin. That is definitely going to stick. Blue Gobi gets in front. So that pushes Edgy on Martin down to 6th. Blue Gobi now into fifth. A little flash of the lights to say thanks there. Not making it difficult for him. I mean, I don't don't mean that that he's he's saying that you're a bit easy to get past. Obviously, he's giving the race some room. Which is, you know, how it should be. We don't want to see people just stupidly get in the way. Oh, Blue Gobi getting out of shape there. And RS Jim catching back up to NGR Martin here. Now 
I would have thought that the game is going to give a slow down penalty to Blue Gobi. I mean, you have got to take the slow down penalties within a certain time. Maybe the game didn't give him one. I would have thought so, though. See, Edgar Scooby just in the distance there as well. That camp has managed to pull away slightly from Edu there at the moment. RCF pulling away from these guys, obviously. Nice bit of breathing space between them now, so he can just get on with his driving. Doesn't need to worry about too much about defending. Just go for the fastest lines through the track. Cam unfortunately doesn't have that option at the moment with Edu breathing down his neck. Amiga there in fourth. It's definitely not over for him. We've seen last week what can happen. These top guys get into a little bit of a scuffle. Um, people can. So RS Jim made a good run here. Edu unfortunately, uh, Blue Gobi, sorry, unfortunately in the walls. And Joe Martin and Jim make their way past. And Scooby is edging ever so closer to this battle that is raging on here. But I would definitely like to see the guys that if you do make a mistake on the on the bus stop is to slow down and you know let the guys at least catch up. Jim NGR Martin closing up on him here. Oh, is that a little touch from NGR Martin on Jim? Jim looks like he's got a little bit out of shape on the bus stop. Blue Gobi going for a move on NGR Martin here. NGR Martin still got the drive though. He's got a good line going into the next corner. Side by side. Avoiding any unnecessary contact there. Well driven by NGR Martin to keep that place. Blue Gobi will be thinking, come on, how do I get back in front of this guy now? And we've got Edu, who's now in front of camp. So these two swap in places. As we now really approach the end of the race. Good luck to the guys that are racing in it. There'll definitely be some sweaty palms at the end of this race. Concentration levels will be maxed out to the full. And Amiga has got Jim absolutely blazing up to him. Amiga will just be looking at the laps. Just wanting this to be over now. And we've got... These two still battling out. Look at this. Scooby is on fire at the moment. Let's have a look at the timings here. See what. See who's got the fastest lap. One, two. So it's Edu who's got the fastest lap at the moment. Oh. Almost pressed the wrong button there. But look at this. Scooby's really caught up to Blue Gobi here. And we'll keep our eyes on the names at the top as well for the top three. See what's going on. But look at this. Cam really applying the pressure. Uh, not Cam. Scooby applying the pressure. 
Is he going to be able to pull the dummy on blue here? You know, he's left it till the last few laps. Oh, that's a Martin going off on the bus stop. Slows to, you know, lose any advantage he would again there. So, exception, nice driving for fair play. Driving there from NGR Martin. So, Scooby will be very, very pleased with this. In seventh at the moment, Blue, Sco Blue Gobi is going to be the one who's in sixth. try and keep up with the the top three and these guys at the moment not forgetting RS Jim and Amiga's battle and Jim really applying the pressure here it's now that time in the race where it's do or die people do go for the more daring moves and Jim is one that can pull off those moves But to trump that, Amiga is one that can defend them as well. Nicely done by both of them there. Oh, there's the commentator curse. But Jim's managed to keep it going. Very good driving by Jim there. It's a few times that's happened to him this race, but he's managed to keep it on the track going forward. Little flashlights from the drivers there. Not too sure what they're flashing about. Sometimes it can just be a simple... Oh, that's a wall scrape from Scooby there. It's going to lose him some time going down the... The straight. See there, NGR Martin. Just getting a bit of a better drive go down. Don't think he's going to be able to take advantage of anything from Blue Gobi. Looks like he got an awesome run through that corner there. Now side by side. He's going to be able to get just in front. Oh, NGR Martin, you could see there. His back end was coming out. His wheel was locked, but he avoided any contact. Get another good, another good drive tonight from these guys. Still holding on to second place as well. Oh, CF. Now just enjoying himself. He's able to relax a little bit. Unfortunately, not the same story for Amiga. He's got Jim right back up on him here. I think Jim's going to hold. No, Jim moves out. Moves back in. Amiga, it's two wheels. That's definitely going to lose the place to Jim now. That again keeps the car going forward. He's able to gain control of it. But some of the curbs on this track will definitely get a clear on two wheels. Blue Gobi now. On the attack to Scooby. Scooby on the defence. Nice lines through the bus stop from them all. The battle for second rages on. And the battle for fourth still rages on. Jim now on the defence from Amiga. Oh, do, Cam does well to avoid contact there. Is he going to be able to make this stick? He's going to be able to find a way past here going up the hill. 
Cam pushing as hard as he can here. Can't seem to get the drive to get past him. Side by side, coming up to the bus stop now. He who breaks late, last wins. Side by side, go through. Cat Adu's just got the edge here. Exceptional driving by them two there. That's that was a tough one to call. He was going to come out in front. He does the man as they approach the end of the penultimate lap. We'll stick with this battle, but you know, apologies to the other guys as well if we have missed anything. But Martin has managed to get back in front of Scooby. Blue Gobies fell back there as well. So, the final lap and the battle for second rages on. Cam going really on the curb there. Gets himself side by side with Edu. He's definitely out in front at the moment. Oh, a little bit of a touch there from Edu. Managed to get the car away before anything. Oh, another little touch. Edu's going to try and pull the move here. He thinks about it. Just eases off. Goes for the fastest line through the bus stop. There's Jim and Amiga just behind them there as well. On the inside, going around this sweeping right hander. Who's got the best drive? Going down, Cam's still in the lead, but not by much at the moment. Edu's not going to make this last lap easy for him. He's got his way past. But Cam's still got the inside line cut up this corner. No, he's not going to be able to make it stick. Edu's going to take the second place. Fantastic drive by these two tonight. Fantastic drive by pretty much everyone from what we've seen tonight. Well done to RCF for taking the win. He had a tough little time getting to the front at the start. But when he did, he, need, he did what needed to be done. Got his head down and just pulled away. But exceptional driving from these guys as well. You know, Cam will, will probably be kicking himself. But, well, you know, when Edu's on fire and he's in full race mode as he was then, it's difficult. I've raced against that guy and defending against him is no easy feat. But well done to everyone involved. In the words of Amiga... What a race. I think that's an understatement. That was an exceptional race. It was literally just the smallest, smallest mistake was... It, it was going to cost you a few places there. Scooby, where's Scooby? Who managed it. Took him a while, but he managed to catch up with them, so... You'll probably be thinking, could I have, could I have done better? But you know, he did manage to catch up with the guys. Unfortunately, the, the guys out in front were just a little too far when he did catch up to make any any headway on them. But what an exceptional fourth round to the Max Clio. So join us next week again when we return for round five of the Max Coates Clio Cup. Where we'll have more bumper to bumper side by side action as always hosted by us at Next Gen. If you are new to the channel and you like what we do, do subscribe. Stay with us tonight as well. In half an hour we've got the L&T Motorsport World Touring Car Championship coming up. That's from Hockenheim National. That'll be from myself driving, so it's from my own perspective. So there's no chat or commentary, anything like that. It's just there, uh, as it would be from my own eyes. So thank you very much to obviously all that were involved in tonight's race as well. And of course for you guys for watching. So do stick with us. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel as well.
and we'll catch you all soon.